Hello to all of my Cancers. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your Freedom Friday message. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic week or at least setting your intentions, Cancer. Hopefully you all are setting your intentions. Let's just take it one day at a time. One day at a time. We are in a waxing crescent moon phase. The moon is currently in Capricorn. So you already have the questions for the moon in Capricorn from the previous reading. I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Aquarius. Remember that the questions are just thought invoking. You don't have to write them down. You can create your own if you want to. They're just thought invoking, just helping you to understand, okay, the moon is moving into this particular zodiac sign. This is what it means. Here are some thought invoking questions. That's it, right? So just trying to help somebody to recognize that they are headed in the right direction. All right, here we go. I'm talking to you if you have cancer anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere in your birth chart. Justice card up first. Justice in your favor. Um, we also have the moon card. Something from your past is trying to resurface, but source is saying don't go back in the past and those overwhelming emotions in the past. Just leave it in the past because source is trying to bring new partnership and love and partnership and business across somebody's path. And right. And so source is saying to you, I do see you physically moving here. We have the 10 of wands and also the 10 of pentacles. Remember the number 10 is the number for instant manifestation. So somebody could be physically moving south of wherever you are right now, right? Remember, this is a general reading. So somebody said, well, south where, what is, what does south mean? South of where, get a compass, south of wherever you are. Right, I see somebody physically moving south of wherever you are, and I do see you um, having a a, law, a legacy, like um, a very rich legacy. Right, so whether your grandparents or your your parents or you're making some kind of impact on your community, whether you are phys like physically, these are your children, like biologically, excuse me, your children or your grandparents or something. I see you making a major impact on your community and the world at large. Is what I see for you. That is what I see for you all. So congratulations to somebody who's moving, like making some kind of physical movement, not just sitting there, you know, just kind of sort of, you know, contemplating going back to the past something. Here we have the King of Cups. Um, so congratulations to you all for that. This is all good news. I see somebody physically moving on from something, not just in your mind. Well, you started in your mind because, again, you're planning. You're like, okay, I'm motivating myself to put one foot in front of the other. Sometimes I'm motivating myself to look up something online. I'm motivating myself, right? So that's the beauty of us being in a waxing crescent moon phase because, uh, and, and specifically in Capricorn because Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, which is the planet of authority and maturity. It's also the planet of concentration, structure, and order patience, discipline, authority, limits, being serious about your universe, being formal, you know, traditions, creating rules, boundaries that you don't have a problem enforcing those boundaries. It's mature responsibility, hard work, dignity, being self-contained. So Capricorn, this is not whether you get along with Capricorns or not, it's your polarity sign. You may have Capricorn in your, uh, in your birth chart. If you haven't pulled your birth chart yet, check it out. It's, um, you know, it's, uh, like I said before, um, yeah, yeah. So I uh, maybe like I said, in your birth chart, birth chart link is, uh, below in the description. Um, and then also, um, you know, it leads you to another website. So I do see somebody here. We have the two of swords. Somebody may have been blindsided by something from the past when it comes, comes to two situations. You could have been blindsided like, whoa, I never saw that coming. Right. I, I didn't realize I was so hurt from other things from my family that I didn't realize the two. I was I felt blindsided by some things. So sources saying take off to take off the blindfolds. Definitely. There's some en energies from somebody's past, like exes trying to resurface, like ex love interest, where somebody's like, why in the world? That was so long ago. Why would an ex be trying to resurface? Because of this right here. Because people feel like you're physically moving on with your life. And because here you are creating legacy, wealth, you and your person, and they feel like, okay, well, oh, let me let me just spin the block one more time. They can keep right on spinning, spinning right away from you. So source is saying to you, physically stay away from this, the overthinking, where it's just like, I have any, some ideas about, hmm, I wonder why, you know, it's coming up in my mind. Hmm, I wonder why, hmm, I want, source is saying, stay away from that. Stay away from that because 
the energies would pull you down to a lower frequency. It was already skating on thin ice. It was already tricky situations from the past. You're not going back to anything that was a tricky situation. You're like this person right here, looking, moving to your future, moving forward. Congratulations to you. Two of Swords. Yep. So again, somebody definitely felt like, why is all of a sudden something coming up in my dreams? Like why all of a sudden, it could have been anything from a legal situation in the past. It could have been legal, whether it was friendships or old organizations or old love interests. Like you could have gone through a divorce or something. Like why, why is something, because it's coming, something's got a partnership in business or partnership in love. Why is stuff from my past resurfacing? Because people feel like you're moving on. And their energy definitely wants back in your life to burn you even again. You, somebody could have been dealing with narcissists from the past, and that's burning energy. Somebody used their, their fire for evil. And it could cause you a lot of anxiety to even think, why is this coming back up in my spirit? Could have been an old friend that burned you. Could have been something legal attached to it, and them trying to resurface. And again, Source is saying to you, take off the blindfold so you can see the burning and blessing of all of it. But Source doesn't want you to physically return to the past so you, that you're not blinded by anything. You're like, okay. I know why earth energies are having some kind of thoughts about whatever, right? And here you are right here. Like I said, you've already moved on from the depth of disappointment that some people are still so stuck in the past. They can't move on because they feel overwhelmed. They have all they still in this negative mindset. Sources say leave them right in the past because you're physically, you've been clear to move forward. And that's what Source is trying to tell you is like, pack up your stuff and move on. Here we have the um, Princes of Source because you have all, some of you all have already packed up your things and moved on. But you know what I'm saying? Time is really relative. You could have already packed up your stuff and physically moved on. Or you could be thinking about it or you could have, you know, like I said, already on the other side of it. But either way, that's what I'm seeing for somebody. And so when your past starts calling, something about energies from your past have this feeling that, okay, if it, why am I, because then somebody's thinking about you too. Why am I all of a sudden thinking about cancer? Why is it coming up in my mind about cancer? Because they get a feeling whether they watching you on social media or talk to somebody has talked to you. Somehow people feel like you're moving on and there's a lot of money involved and they somehow either feel entitled to it. They somehow they feel entitled to being with you. So anyway, here we have the Dame of Swords. Um, and so like, that's what I'm seeing for you all so far. So a lot of masculine energy here, instead of sitting in your mind, having all these ideas about why people are resurfacing sources saying, just don't go back. <laughs> okay. It's just that clear. Just don't go back. Instead of sitting there, letting it sit in your water and, and collect dust and mold and all of that, where your thoughts become toxic and other people are like, you, you thought about who or you thought about what? So it's just like, uh-uh, you don't even need to talk about it. Physically move. So like I said, somebody's moving on to a wealthier life. You know, um, things are happening for you. Leave the past behind, including the past emotions about it behind. Here we have the King of Swords. Here we have the Seven of Coins, the Empress card, the Five of Cups, the Three of Coins, and also the Queen of Swords. You're going through a rebirth, in a, a rebirth of a, into abundance and prosperity. So... Two things from your past that were overwhelming for you are being replaced by abundance and prosperity moving forward. So hopefully that makes sense to somebody. And everything is lining up for you perfectly. Your money is lining up perfectly for you. I'm talking to you if you have cancer anyway in your birth chart. It's harvest time for you. You've been planting seeds that are growing now. So you're not wondering that number seven, when, uh, seven of coins here. Number seven, when it's a line, it's like, okay, source is making it make sense for me. Source inside of me is making it all make sense for me. That I'm, I'm my symbol is a crab and I had to put my feelers out here, my antennas out there, antennas. So it didn't happen to me in a straight line where it just makes sense. When I start thinking about my journey, just like a crab moves and I got it from here, got something from here, some here from here. And now it's starting to make sense, right? Because... That's how that's how source had you moving away from your past. Source is saying to you, there's energies now that's just starting to awaken to, oh my God, you know, I you know, I miss I totally misjudged and misread cancer. So let me see if I can get back into their good graces again. But source says they still on that BS. 
that belief system, right? That, that belief system that I can somehow manipulate my way back into uh, cancer's life and guess what? They'll go and gaslight you again. Sources say that's not going to happen because Source is going to keep putting fire up under you to get you to move on. Because right now, if you're sitting around like this, lamenting over spilled water emotionally, things didn't work out and I wish things were different, you got to remember how your symbol, the crab, moves. It doesn't move in a straight line. So you had to collect information. Everywhere you went here, okay, I had to retreat when I didn't feel safe, right? And I went over here, I had to retreat when I didn't feel safe. That could have looked like I went to this job and it was all fun and games until I felt like I was being attacked and I, the same gifts, products, and services that Source gave me, I need to take all of those gifts and move over to this job, this relationship. Then I had to move to that relationship, collecting information and wisdom. Anyway, here we have um, Five of Cups. So it's truly the school of life, right, the, that you've been on. So Source is like, you don't need to have your, hand, your head in your hands and wonder why things are not working out when you got all this abundance of water right here. And that's why Source is saying to you, this water, you're a water sign. You got fresh water all around you. You got fresh water all in you. Flush all of that toxic, that toxic, um, that energy out from that you've absorbed from these places that you work with and the relationships that you've been in and all of that. The the court cases you've gone through in the past. Flush all that toxicity out. It's time. This is a sword, sword of truth. I'm taking all that toxic water and flushing it out. I'm cleaning out these bowls right here and I'm filling it up with fresh water, fresh creativity. I'm excited about my future. I'm not going back. Here we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. King and Queen of Swords, right? So you're sitting on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts. You, you gained a lot more wisdom and knowledge about it. So if you're thinking about it, you're only sitting in this waxing crescent moon phase, thinking about, okay, how can I put some structure moving forward? I cannot let my water be spilling all over the place. And I can't keep giving emotions and energy to my past because I... I'm going to have to keep replenishing and refilling. It's going to, that's going to make it look, it's going to make a person look like they just sitting around, just checked out. That's what it's going to look like. Like a person who's sitting around overthinking it to a point of dehydration. If you're not sitting down with a sheet of paper and a pencil in hand and say, these are the lessons that I learned from these past relationships. So I don't ever have to go in that direction again, then, then you're spiritually dehydrating yourself. And so source is saying to you, you need all of this, this brain power, because you all are incredibly smart, you need all of this brain power to move forward, right? You you collected a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Now now you want to move it forward and you want to plant seeds that you want to grow. That's what Source is trying to just tell somebody. It's like, you know, you weren't stupid. You didn't make the wrong decisions. You were actually collecting data like a crab does. Like you go from this place, to that place. Sometimes you feel like, okay, I feel like my, my, my crab shell was going to crack. You know, I was in some dangerous situations and I felt like, okay, I had to retreat. Sometimes you have to retreat longer than other times because it's like, okay, I don't want to stick my head out the door in my office because them people out there outside the office in my workplace, are they gone crazy, right? Or sometimes in your relationships, I feel like I only want to get out of the bed. I'm in the wrong relationship, right? So source is saying to you, you're picking up information. You were in receiving mode of information just learning your lessons along the way and, and what feels safe and what doesn't feel safe. You're the I feel sign, right? So I know exactly because your heart has always been in the right place, Cancer, but sources like this mothering energy, you've decided, hey, I'm not carrying other people's toxicity. You know, somebody says, oh, you're not my mother or you're not the boss of me or whatever. You're trying to nurture some energy. You know what? You're right. You're right. We don't even have to argue about that when you're right but you won't disrespect me. You know, like even, even dating some people, whether you're dating a man or dating a woman and a person tells you they want you, they want the nurturing from you, but they don't want the correction. They don't want to be held accountable for their behavior. You know, oh, you're not the boss of me. You're not in control of me. You know what? You're right. You're right. Those are the two words that somebody's going to start saying, you know what? Or three, four words, whatever, whatever you, whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, hold on. You know what? You're right. Or you are right, right? So five or six words. You know what? You're right. That's what somebody's going to say. You know what? You're right. 
And if you make it five words, you know that number five, the light side of it is that this is a pivotal point. I'm moving back, back, I mean forward. I'm not moving backwards to continue to do the same thing. And you're telling me if you're dating, it, you know, some people want all of the mothering, you know, in romantic relationships until you hold them accountable as a mother would, as a good mother would. Some people who you're mentoring, they want all the mothering until you hold them accountable for their behavior. Now, all of a sudden, you're not mother. You're right. You are absolutely right. Thank you for reminding me. You're right. So you're not arguing with that. So that's what I'm saying for you all. Even in your own family, people want you to allot a portion of your paycheck to pay their bills. And as soon as you ask them, so because they're bold enough to ask you for the money, but the, song, the moment you turn around and say, wait a minute, you mind opening up your, um, you know, your bank statements? Let me see where you're putting your, you're putting your money. That can help you put your, you know, I can help you manage your money better. All of a sudden, they go into a shell like they don't feel safe around you, but they felt safe enough to ask you for some money. You know what? You right. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying for you all, Kansas. You know what? You right. You are absolutely right. Why am I over here getting upset? I'm not. So, yeah, that's your wisdom. That's why this right here, that's what the peace that somebody has on them. No matter where you are on this planet, somebody is closing their eyes saying, I'm seeing myself on a beach looking out over expansion. No matter where you are, you can be, no matter where you are, I'm looking over expansion. I'm not even getting stressed out about your issues and your problems. I'm not doing that. Here we have the two of wands. We also have the knight of wands, the five of pentacles. We have the seven of swords, the page of swords, and also the six of wands. All right. Yep. Two of wands came out twice, two situations in particular. So it's saying just move on and don't look back. They're trying to come in through your through fear, doubt, uncertainty. That's why you see so much fire here. Because Source is saying you've been victorious. All you have to do is, like I said, Knight of Wands, stay away from those types of energies. These are the types of energies that will abuse their power, where their worldly power, right? These are the types of energies, the Six of Wands. I see you back in a saddle moving forward. Um, all you have to do is physically stay. And like I said, source has already cleared the path for you to go ahead and move forward. So you don't have to worry about somebody burning your reputation. They already burned you out. So you already know what they're capable of. So you don't even have to worry about that. Source is saying, just pick up the two swords right here of thinking. I'm overthinking about, you know, when I when I start thinking about how angry and frustrated I am. Source is like, pick those swords up. You're the one that's holding the power. These are your thoughts. This is your power. Why would you leave your power with them by you know, letting them rent space in your mind. Mm -mm, you got a plane to catch. <laughs> who, who in the world? <laughs> Cancer, who is sitting around giving somebody their power? Mm -mm, you're not doing that when people were staying connected to you for this. This is the five of pentacles here. You kept walking past your vault door, you know, uh, distracted by people's... Uh, anyway, so yeah, you don't have to overthink this. You're not, you're picking up your sword of truth and saying, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Congratulations to you all, Cancers. This is nice, nice. I love it, Cancers. I love it, I love it, I love it. Like I said before, people from your past that try to overwhelm you, you know, their energy wants to come back. Like I said, there's no reason for you to even go back through your thoughts. Every time you go back through your thoughts, it just should be to learn a lesson. I need to listen more intently. So wherever you're going, when you're sitting down, for example, if um it, and this it should be this clear for some people being around people who are always talking about burning people's uh reputations and cutting their money in half and like they're they're literally putting themselves as your god i oh i can oh, i can just pick up the phone make one phone call i can ruin that person's life right that may feel like instant gratification for some people until they realize that they're being humbled by most high source and that they can't ruin your life unless you let them rent, rent that space in your head. They could tell everybody, oh, you, you're a runner, you're a track star, you ran away when things got hard. Okay, whatever. Because <laughs> this is you right here. And this is you right here. This you. Tell whoever, whatever. Because somebody is living a, you know, or at least moving towards a very wealthy life where you're making a difference in the lives of people. Somebody is overlooking a beach. Somebody is sitting in a lotus position somewhere, meditating, you know, listening to the sounds of water. 
So let people think whatever. Let them tell whoever whatever. Because what they're really saying is that source had to humble me to let me know that I didn't have power over everything I did to try to ruin your relation, ruin your, um, ruin your reputation. It didn't work. That's what they're really telling people. If, if people read between the lines. So, like I said, you're entering into abundance and rebirth. I do see somebody, I see somebody um, entering into a partnership in love and business. And I do see somebody um, having a baby or possibly twins. So, that's what I'm seeing for somebody. But again, you have to leave some other stuff behind. They could be twin grandkids or, you know, twin uh, or a new grandchild or... Um, or something in partnership in business and partnership in love. Queen of um, Queen of Cups. We have the Ten of um, Ten of Wands. We had the King of um, King of Hearts. We had the Six of Spades, the Four of Spades, and also the Jack of Spades. Yep. So, all right. Let's see. All is spade energy, right? So you definitely are sailing away from some de disappointment. You know, definitely it's like, wow, people still trying it from the past. Like, what the heck? Here we also have the four of us, four of spades. Somebody, source is saying, get your rest. Just get your rest. Because again, the only way you're going to save yourself is to stop talking about it. Stop overthinking it and start being in a posture of gratitude. My past is behind me. Thank you, source. That is behind me. I can move forward now. Because somebody is still in their mind overthinking, but what, 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 I need a date, or what's going to happen? Okay, but what if I try to do this, and what if I try to do that? Hey, source is saying, look at the silver lining. Physically, something is not, something is in your rear view, right? So, source is saying, have compassion for the energies you're leaving behind, because they are still lost. A lot of them don't know why they're here on this earth. They don't know what their purpose is. And that's why I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Aquarius. The moon is currently waxing in, um, in Capricorn. But then on the 22nd, we move into a first quarter moon. So it starts out in Capricorn, but it's going to be first quarter moon in Aquarius. So source is saying to you, here we have have compassion for them, but also wisdom. You have the king of cups twice. You already know. You have enough information at this point to know exactly what you're dealing with the emotional state of people. So get ready to be booked and busy, double booked and busy and not burdened at all. Not burdened at all. Not burdened at all. So, yep. Yep, yep, yepity, yep. Uh, let me see what else we got going on here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. So yeah, one more set of cards and we're going to go ahead and get ready to close this out, Cancer. But like I said before, there were some energies from your past that you released and those energies want to come back into your life. But the answer is a, a firm no. It's a firm no, right? And you mean that in love. Here we have, you know, I love myself too much. I'm, I'm going to tell you why too. So we got the strength card here. We also have the magician card and we also have the fool card because you're not dealing with clown behavior. You're not dealing with clown behavior. These energies from your past set around and let people talk trash about you. They sat around and just let you just like let all kinds of stuff happen while they stood around and did nothing to help or defend you. They let people attack you. They let these evil clowns attack. So it's to say, uh-uh. You got clear messages coming through. So we had the, you went from five of pentacles to double ten of pentacles. And like I said before, you're saying, I'm not, I'm, I'm moving forward. I don't want to have anything to do with anybody that left me like this. Five of pentacles, five of pentacles, double five of pentacles, two energies in particular while you moving forward to your very rich legacy, you and your person. You, there's no way you letting somebody back in your life because they don't know how. See, that's what happens when people just write people off. You don't know what a person's mental state is. And we don't joke about mental health on my channel at all. Some people are just that low in water where they feel like, okay, I don't, there's no reason for me to even be here anymore. And could you imagine contributing to somebody else? Anyway, here we have the Knight of Cups. So you learn how to save yourself. You're like, I'm, I'm a very compassionate person, but I got to save myself. But the compassion is for them too. I mean, first of all, you're drinking a full cup of compassion for yourself first and foremost because you did go through some things, but you're compassionate towards them too, because again, 
we don't we, nobody really knows why people are the way that they are like that's looking at the cards here i mean like there's all this thinking 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 so it's just wants you to start creating some boundaries so this moon is in capricorn create some boundaries get authoritative and mature about creating boundaries and enforce them number three moving forward so boundaries are sewn into the parts of who you are for they are not to be crossed not to be crossed not to be crossed so some people some people get too familiar with this they get too close they already start they don't find out one little this is this is what you, the lesson that you've learned some people get real close to you real soon because and you start opening up and talking to them and nurturing them and all of this other stuff and now they got something to try to use against you to take back to other people who gossip they haven't earned the right to be that close to you they haven't earned the right to be that close to you. Once you realize, okay, they're not running around telling all your business and what you share. And the interesting thing about this is that, one, you know that they're all about image. And then, two, you know that, um, you know, it's they tell you, they're telling on themselves what type of energies that they're still hanging around or who they're still influenced by. So they're already letting you know that they can't be trusted. So when you sever ties with them, if you've only shared certain things with them, first of all, they came out of your mouth. So it's not like they can turn around and use it again. It's disappointing when people use things against you, but it came out of your mouth. <laughs> so how are they going to hurt you with something that came out of your mouth? Like, okay, well, I see what frequency you want. That's why you can't walk through the vault door with me. So here we have divine source. Help me know that all of my deepest needs will be met let me trust that you have a plan and that your right actions will come you are my source for all that's right you are my source for all because you are that source right inside of you so what else we got going on here let me make sure we got everything yep yeah. So that's what I'm saying for you also. When you're overthinking something and you're thinking about the hurt and pain you've gone through and all of the, So I said, all you need to know is that they let people sit around and talk trash about you. That's all you need to know. Watch a movie. 54. So the movie is going to help somebody to just like kind of sort of power through your emotions. And, and see how... <clears throat> that's why some people are just comfortable with their animals. They're like, you know what? I, I got to rethink this whole human thing because maybe I let some people get too close to me too soon and they turn around and use it. So I got to, maybe I need to sit with my cat or my dog and start watching my movies and start structuring my life in a way where my emotions are not out of hand just because I'm happy about something. Okay. I'm letting people back into my life. So it's the same. Mm -mm. Once they show you that kind of stuff, move on from it. Emotions are running high. Yeah. Emotions are running high. Um, so for you and for other people, like I said, every day, the moon is illuminating more and more and more. So when we get to that first quarter moon on the 22nd, you look at the moon out of the sky, it's going to look like it's half illuminated. So as we get closer and closer to the full moon, so some part of you feels like, okay, I'm going to be going back to some of the things I used to do, but I'm, my future is calling. So you may be feeling like that in between, like, okay, I'm pulling back to that same emotions of overthinking the hurt and pain, taking on other people's hurt and pain. Maybe I want to nurture that. And then the other part of you is like, woohoo, hey, we're about to go. The plane is about to take off. Like, what you doing? <laughs> 20, 27, I am expressive. Your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and you're compassionate toward all the ways of life. You value freedom of expression and you want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or world at large. Even if you decide, hey, just for a short period of time, hey, what is it going to hurt for me to, and this is case by case basis, what is it going to hurt for me to, you know, have that one last talk with certain people, just let them know that, hey, this is a reality here that I'm about to move on with my life. And you're letting them know. I, I see somebody having some bolder conversations. Basically, like, I will cut you off. It's not a, even a threat. It's a promise. Like, I will cut you off if you bring that kind of drama into my life again. 
So that's the that's a very real direct. I'm that serious. That's what this planet Saturn is doing through the moon and Capricorn is that, you know, I am very serious about my life. I'm creating boundaries. I don't have a problem enforcing them. It's not a threat, but please don't push that button. Please don't do it. And some people from my past that found out they messed around and found out that I'm not I'm, I'm never coming back. So there's some people from your past that know, they already know, you're never coming back. Some people from your job, some friendships know you're not coming back. Some ex-love interests know that you're not coming back. So they had to mess around and find out that how the crab moves. Like I said before, you go from place to place collecting your information and you feel like, okay, I got, if I got to retreat and I got to sit in my shell for the majority of the time I've known you, this is not the place for me to be. That crab wants to come out and move around. Right. So if, if if I don't feel safe in your space, whether it's a job, a friendship or whatever, I'm always I'm just counting down the days before I leave. So you better get your mind together. So that's the energy that you're telling people is like, I, you understand how I'm moving out here and, and, and you know, on this sand like a like a crab, like I'm, I'm going to make it to the shore. <laughs> like I'm, you understand, like <laughs> I've been here, 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 here. I, I know how to feel my way through life. Right. I'm, my intuition is like this is. So that's what, that's what somebody is learning. And so, like I said, emotions are really running really high, but I feel like somebody is going to have one last conversation with somebody and it's going to be so felt that, um, and, and it is again, it's in a loving way, right? So inside you may be feeling what I said. You may not say it to them inside. You may be feeling that way. Like, you know what? I'm not going through having a retreat most of the time and cover myself. I like to be free out and just enjoying my life. So that's what I'm saying for you all, uh, cancers. Like I said, divine source is going to help you with all of this. And uh, 27, 2 and 7 is 9. 9 is the number of rebirth. Somebody is ready to have a very um, expressive rebirth where you're just kind of like living your life free. Like you don't have to keep, you don't have to spend the majority of your life in a crab shell. That's what I have for you. Um, the questions for the moon in Aquarius are, what can you do to use your passion for serving on a large scale? The second question is, are you creating space for yourself to connect with your inner alchemist and innovator? Third question is, are you ready to think outside the box and delete old beliefs and rules to write your own? Fourth question, is using technology a drain or gain for you? And then last but not least is, are you ready to start a group in your community to initiate and create positive change on a local or global scale? And then what could the focus be? That is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me, Cancers. And I will see you all on Sunday. But again, happy Freedom Friday. Bye.